So why am I a teaching artist? Well, this is full on selfie mode. I'm using my phone here. This would be fun. Uh, first off, I think I was as a kid, I was really drawn to uh, truth in storytelling. And Peter Garrett was one of my first inspirations, uh, the lead singer of Midnight Oil. And I was drawn to the power of music and, and truth in music. When people are telling their own truth in storytelling, I was like, wow, this is powerful stuff. I'm really drawn to that. And uh, I came across a Hopi proverb that said, storytellers rule the world. And I was like, wow, think about it going, oh my gosh, where the head goes, the body follows. And whoever's telling the story, whoever owns the narrative, wins the day. Um, that's something that I think is pretty powerful. And so I was drawn to that and thinking, oh my gosh, I, I want to delve into this. And so when I went to college, um, started working on music and audio composition and, um, and visual storytelling as well. And one of my professors gave me a book by Robert Fritz called The Path of Least Resistance, which talked about the underlying structure of creativity and a really interesting book. He also wrote another book called Creating on furthermore of uh, the structure uh, that the creative cycle goes through. And that fascinated me because I was like, okay, so here's a structure about creativity and storytelling. I'm like, okay, I want to delve further into this. And uh, that led me to um, working on material with people. And then I came across Brian Eno's work or his idea on scenius. He believes that genius doesn't come from an individual. It comes from a scene. And it comes from ideas being bounced off of other people's ideas. So collective working together. And if you look in history, you can kind of see people who are really good at their craft would be drawn to other people who are really good and they would bounce ideas off each other to become better at whatever it is that they're trying to create. And so creating a senius, which could be like a classroom, uh, which leads me to the final thing would be uh, that we take turns being teacher and student throughout the day. And in my classroom in particular, um, I have many opportunities to be the student to learn from the young people I'm working with as they come across a truth for themselves uh, that is something personal or it's a technical thing that they find. I'm like, oh my gosh, show me that. So I can show um, or kind of demonstrate being creative and curious at the same time uh, because I think the two are intertwined and showing them that a lifelong learner is a curious person, is a creative person. They're interchangeable. It's all part of the big whole. Uh, so I am excited to be both teacher and student throughout the day and show them to be the same. So that's a little bit about why.